Hi everyone, this is Ed from Demon Speed Motorsports, here to do another lab code edition of learning. So what we're going to be talking about today is air filled tires versus nitrogen filled tires. And if there's value to it and how much value there is to it and if it's worth doing. We're doing this because I had a conversation with one of my customers and we were going back and forth a little bit about uh, getting all the fittings for their air hose to be able to do nitrogen or not and conversation with he had about with with one of the prep shops that uh, he works with about nitrogen versus air and um, Honestly, I, I don't know the answer to this, so we're going to be learning this all together uh, as we go through uh, I'm going to throw a little math at you. So uh, we'll we'll be able to uh, Talk about it together. So the reason why they say that you should be using nitrogen instead of oxygen, I've heard quite a number of different reasons. You know, one of them being that the, the nitrogen molecule is larger than the oxygen molecule or anything else other, other constituent in, in air, and therefore your tires will bleed down slower. I've heard that, you know, because of the moisture in the tire, you'll, you'll have a different expansion rate. Um, and, and a few other things. But really the, the biggest reason for doing nitrogen instead of air is going to be consistency, right? In my mind, right? Before we do this, this is what, what I'm thinking, is, is that you don't have the, the, the humidity in the air in the tire uh, and you don't have um, you know, other constituents in the air. You're only talking about nitrogen. Um, so you're gonna have a consistent amount of of pressure growth over uh, uh, with with temperature, and you're always going to have uh, um, pressure increase with with temperature. That's one of the physics laws, PVT. Uh, so if your volume staying the same, same, and your and your temperature goes up, your pressure has to go up. It's going to go up differently based on different media, but it's always going to go up. So it's not like we're going to see that a a tire with only nitrogen in it is is not going to have a pressure increase. It has to. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about here before we get started is what is a nitrogen-filled tire, right? So um, you you hear well, I, I put nitrogen in my tires, so so they must be good. Well, we, you, you, so they must be nitrogen-filled. But when you're talking about a tire. Right, that, that you just mounted and balanced. It's got air in it, right? Even if there's zero PSI in it, there's air in it. And the amount of air in it when you first mount it is about 15 PSI. And the reason why that is is, is that there's atmospheric pressure, right? We're here on Earth. So that, at 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 <laughs> that atmospheric pressure is one bar which is, if we were in the metric system, which is about 14.7 PSI. If we mounted and balanced the tires in space, then there'd be nothing in the tires and you could put just nitrogen in. So I'm not sure what everybody does to call a tire nitrogen filled, but we need to get as close as we can to having only nitrogen in it to be able to run this test. Um, right now, you know, what's in there is air, so air is 78% nitrogen already, 8% uh, oxygen, and you know, the other little stuff in there like, like the, the water vapor and some other uh, um, gases as well. So air is still a gas, by the way, just like nitrogen is a gas. It's, it's just a mixture of gases, whereas you know, what's in the bottle is just going to be, or in theory, is going to be just nitrogen. Um, so Back to the fact that there's already 15 PSI of air in the tire just from getting it mounted. Um, how are we going to handle that situation? Well, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to, um, I do have to remove the air out of this tire because I hadn't. Uh, so it has 20 PSI of air in it. Um, and. Um, so I've got to remove that air. Then I'm going to go ahead and put 30 PSI of nitrogen in it. 
So when we do that, we're going to have one part air and two parts nitrogen. So we're basically going to, at that point, uh, be somewhere you know, better than half. Uh, you're going to be 67% pure nitrogen and 33% and, uh, air. Then what I'll do is I'll take the air out a second time and put another dose of, of nitrogen in, which will give us nine parts air, I'm sorry, nine parts nitrogen to one part air, which means that we'll be at 90% nitrogen, gas bottle nitrogen, and 10% air. I'll do it a third time, we'll be closer to 97%, and, um, and we'll call that good, because even at 96, 97%, uh, nitrogen from the bottle in the in the tire, you are still have 78% nitrogen in air, which means that you're closer to 99% nitrogen in the tire, and we really don't have to go any further than that because you're really not going to get much more from that. It's a logarithmic curve, so you know the limit as you approach. You know, if this was a graph of of how many times I'm going to fill the tire with nitrogen. If, if this is zero, then one, we're going to be at 33%. Uh, and, and, and let's say this is, this is 100%, right? So the first time you're at 33%, the second time you're at 90%, the third time you're at 97%. You're going to get close to, to 100%, but you're never going to get there because there's always going to be a little bit of air in there. Uh, the only way that you'd ever be able to do that is to pull that 14.7 psi of air out of the tire down here and just load it all up with nitrogen, which isn't reasonable to do. Um, it's difficult to do. We actually do have the facilities to do it. We could, we could take it over and we could put it in a vacuum chamber and get it down to very close to um, minus 14.7 uh, psi, and then go ahead and 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 purge the, the 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 chamber with nitrogen, which would mean then that the tire would have nitrogen in it. But um, I, I, for what we're doing and the experiment that we're doing, getting us up around 99% nitrogen in a tire is going to be plenty sufficient. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll charge it up the first time to, like I said. 30 PSI. Now, if I wanted to go faster at this, you know, I could take the tire up to 50 PSI, which would mean that I've got, you know, three, a little over three times nitrogen to the one part um, um, air. And, uh, you know, after just a couple of times, I'd be in the, in the uh, mid to upper um, 90s. But we'll do it the three times, and I'll talk to you while we're doing it so you don't get bored. There we go, we're right at 30, so we'll use the fitting like I did last time to pull that out. We'll talk a little bit more about it. So um, part of the experiment is that you know, it could be the water vapor that's in there. Now, we're, I'm doing this video in uh, October in Cleveland, Ohio, so the air is pretty dry outside. But fortunately, this tire was mounted in... August in preparation to go to uh, Watkins Glen um, at the beginning of September. So August in, in Cleveland, Ohio can be uh, fairly humid, not overly humid like you might get in some of the southern states like Florida or Texas, but um, we, um, we're going to consider this a nice average amount of, of humidity in the tire uh, without actually measuring it. So the other tools that we're going to be using, obviously, is the air gauge that, that we've already started using. We're going to have two front tires off of a 991 cup car. Uh, the tires are the same. The wheels are the same. Everything's the same. I've got the Demon Speed tire warmers that we're going to use to take the tires up to um, 200 degrees. And we'll then be able to see a pressure difference, theoretically, between the tire with air in it and the tire with only nitrogen in it. So this is slow. Um, 
what more can I tell you about? Well, let's talk about the uh, Demon Speed tire warmers while we're talking. So these are uh, custom fitted for your car. You can get them in five different colors. You got red, black, orange, um, obviously green, um, blue, and blue. Um, we carry the green ones in stock in quite a number of different sizes these days and the other colors or any other sizes that we don't have are special order and typically take about three weeks to come in and ship out. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're down under 5 PSI, so we'll go ahead and load it back up. A little tricky there. I won't bore you. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video for a minute uh, so you can just watch me do this in, in high speed since it's taking a little longer than I expected. And I'll be back with you uh, as soon as this is completed. Okay, here we are. We're back, and both tires are now exactly at 20 PSI, which is about our starting pressure when we've got cold tires in the morning. You know, it's 66 degrees in the shop right now, uh, so, you know, I'm expecting to see these tires go up to about uh, 27, well, this one going up to about 27 PSI. It's what we normally see with uh, the pressure change. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug both of these in, the tire warmers, and we'll increase the temperature of the tire to uh, 200 PSI, uh, to PSI, PSI, 200 uh, degrees, uh, which will get us to, you know, like I say, about 27 PSI here. We'll see what we end up with over here on the left side together, and um, we'll be able to draw our own conclusions from the actual testing that we've got here going on. All right, let me plug this in. This is the high temperature version of the Demon Speed tire warmers. So we're going to, so one of them is reading 65 and one of them is reading 62, very close to each other. Um, we're just going to go ahead and let these warm up and we'll be back in an hour or so when we can take a look at them at about 200 degrees and see where we're at on the pressures. Okay, group, we're back. So we've got the tire warmers on. They're both at exactly 200 degrees. Let's see if I can show you that. You get that? Can you see it? 200 degrees, both of them. Um, so now it's time to do the unveiling. You've got the air on this side, you've got the nitrogen on this side, and let's see exactly where the pressures are at. I haven't taken a look, so we're finding this out together. So here we are on the air side. We are at 27 and 3 quarter, 27 and 3 quarter, best I can tell with that gauge. And this side, we are at 27. So 
the difference in the growth between the two of them. This one's straight up 27 uh, PSI. This one's 27 and three quarters. The difference between them is three quarters of a PSI. Um, kind of said what I had said originally was that we are still going to see tire growth, uh, pressure growth with the nitrogen side, um, but you're going to see a little bit less because you don't have that um, water vapor that's in there. You're going to have a little bit more consistent of a growth, but you're still going to have growth. And it's going to be about the same. You know, I mean, the difference between 27 and 27 and three quarters from 20 is 10%. So we're seeing 10% higher pressure on the one that's straight air than the one that's with nitrogen. Um, you take this information and you do exactly what you want to do with it. I know what I'm going to do, which is do the exact same thing that I've always done, which is just put air in my tire and not worry about it. Because if the growth is going to be somewhere around um, five to 10% more uh, consistently, unless it's a really humid day, I'm fine with that bit of variability. But if you're going down to the nth degree, if you're running IMSA, if you've got a team that's going to do this for you uh, and take care of you on it, by all means, it obviously does something. Uh, getting down to that, that, that small percentage of difference between winning and losing, I guess. So, Thank you for coming on this journey with me, and I'm hoping to do a lot more in these lab coat series with Demon Speed Motorsports. You come visit us, get a set of tire warmers so you can go out on track. We've got another video that's already uploaded for um, how long the tires will stay hot before you go out to show that you can still go out on hot tires even if you take 15 minutes to go um, sit in the, the false grid waiting to be released. Uh, so. You know, get your tires up to pressure, get your tires up to temp before you go out. Visit us at Demon Speed Motorsports, uh, and here you go. Thank you.